All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul. I'm with the Dicey Review. And uh, we are going to be doing a live playthrough of Coffee Roaster tonight. So Coffee Roaster is a solo only game from, uh, from Stronghold Games and DLP, uh, published by Stronghold in the US. I've obviously got my coffee mug ready to go tonight, even though it's like almost 10 o'clock where I am. I am drinking coffee, so Lord help me, um, I'm going to be up late. But we are playing Coffee Roaster, and we're going to be playing the Sao Paulo Brazil scenario, uh, if you will. So this is basically um, the intro scenario, uh, one of the intro scenarios. You can play a lot of different scenarios here. And um, this scenario sheet is going to tell us what type of uh, ingredients make up our bag. So we have different types of coffee beans in our bag that we are going to try and roast to create an ideal blend for scoring at the end of the game. We're also going to have some moisture in our bag that will just evaporate as we roast things. And then we're going to have flavor tokens that we can do cool stuff with. So I'm going to kind of try and play through the game and then talk as I'm playing to give you an idea of kind of what the, what the game looks like. But um, basically, each round you're going to draw out the number of chips equal to the number here on your round marker. And we started off on eight based on how much moisture was in this scenario. We had three, so that means we start right here. And then you're gonna draw out that many chips every round and then you're gonna decide what you wanna do with those chips. And early, in the early rounds, you're gonna draw out a lot of beans that will kind of slowly increase in their roast level. Um, but you can also draw out flavor tokens that you can use to activate immediate powers or do in-game things that will help you in scoring. So we'll kind of go through that as we're playing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start off on this, on this first round and draw out eight chips and see what we get. All right, so I've got five, six, seven, oh, nope, 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 get back in there, six, seven, eight, I think, right? Four and four, yeah. Okay, so this is what happens. Whenever you draw out chips from the bag, um, the first thing that happens is any moisture tokens just go away. So these moisture tokens clog up your bag. They're not good, um, but they just burn off. So we'll go ahead and put those back in the box in this handy divider that is fantastic. And then we have some different level zero beans that will increase in value. So we also drew a couple of flavor tokens that we could use to activate abilities if we want to, but there's some there's some restrictions around that that make it kind of tough. So um, we also want to be careful with our uh, flavor tokens because they're one and done. If you use them, they're gone for the game. Um, and uh, basically, you know, you, you want to make sure that you have some left for the end of the game because every scenario sheet also has uh, ideal flavors that you want to be in the in the cup, in the final scoring cup here. So we need to try and get two blue and a green in the cup at the end of the game if we can. Um, so basically, we're going to try and make those decisions each round as we pull things out. And, and I say round, the, uh, the game has two phases. So you will have the roasting phase, which is what we're doing now. You're going to roast and roast and roast every round until you eventually do this, this cup phase where, you're, where you will score your cup, the testing, cup testing phase. So basically, you build your bag and build your bag and make it as good as you can. And then once you're done with that, you go to phase two, which is essentially scoring and how that works. So we're still in phase one and we're just taking turns. Um, so basically, I don't really want to do anything with these uh, tokens just yet. What I will do, though, is I, can, I will start to work towards getting this wild flavor token, which can be helpful. So to do that, you have to put a level zero and a level one bean. And we don't have any level one beans right now but we will shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the first requirement of that and you can work on that as you know over round, over multiple rounds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't wanna use these because I can't really do anything cool with them just yet that I would like to do. So uh, I will go ahead and roast these beans and then put these back in the bag. So these will all become level one beans. So we'll go ahead and trade in these three zeros for three ones. And we will indicate that we now have a roasting level of three because we have three level ones in our bag and these go back in our bag. And that's the first roasting round here. Now we're gonna be in round two. And since we have a nine here because our temperature is increasing, we're gonna draw nine chips from the bag and see what we get. Kind of rinse and repeat. All right, so we drew a not great bean that will not do anything for us. 
And then we drew from some flavor stuff. Okay, cool. So let's see here. Oh, that's eight. That's not nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now we have some different stuff that we could work with. Um, we have a level one bean, which if I don't do anything with this bean, it would turn into a level two bean at the end of this round, and that would be helpful. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and do what I need. Go ahead and get what I need to uh, complete this wild token. So we now have a wild flavor token, which will help us at the end of the round. Because we're trying to get an ideal score of 14 in our bean value here. And then we're trying to get some, some specific flavor tokens. And we'll go over kind of how that works. Um, but basically, we are also needing to think about kind of abilities that we want to lock in for the end of the game. Basically, during the rounds, with the chips that you draw out, you can start to work on unlocking these special tiles that will help you at the end of the game whenever you're scoring your cup. And the ones that I really like are these two right here. Um, so I could technically use one of my green tokens if I wanted to and start to work on unlocking these two chips. Because basically, whenever you put your... Uh, whenever you put your tokens over here, they do an immediate one-time thing. So like this this spot right here shows any color flavor token. So I could put a green right there and do an immediate action. Or you can put your flavor tokens over here, which will allow them to do a specific action that the token indicates. And then it will also pay towards unlocking an in-game special ability. So um, these green tokens, when you put them down, they are acidity. And they uh, let you save two tokens before roasting them, which wouldn't be amazing uh, because I would actually keep these level zero beans, but that would get me towards unlocking a special uh, cool ability that I could use at the end of the game. Um, I could also start to work on this ability, which I like quite a bit. It it basically increases the number of chip, the flexibility you have at the end of the game when putting chips in your in your uh, coffee cup here. So I think I will go ahead and start to work on one of these things. So I'm going to be placing this ability chip right here, which basically means that I'm going to activate the green chip and then it's going to pay towards activating an in-game ability. So the green chip, whenever you place it down, you take two beans and you put them back in the bag before roasting, saving them from being roasted. And the reason that you would want to do that is once you get up to level four, if you roast to a fifth level, the bean just gets burnt. So sometimes you want to save a level four from being uh, overcooked, basically. So I did that, uh, and when you place these chips, you have to take the ability. So I, I put this chip right here, uh, you know, keeping, keeping two of those, those chips, those beans. So I had to do the ability. But now, more importantly, I'm, I'm halfway paid for having a cool special ability at the end, end of the game. Um, that being said, I've gotten my wild token. Uh, I have kept two beans out here that I think will I'll keep around and just let them roast. And I think that's about all I want to do. So these will turn into level one beans. So my roast increases by two. I now have five levels of bean in my bag. And then all these go back in. This is just a bad defective bean that will give me negative points at the end of the game if I let it score. So I'm going to keep on roasting. I need to have a better bag before I try and score my cup. So I go into round 10. Round 10 is special. You get smoke in your bag because you're increasing temperature and smoke tokens show up and those are bad. You don't want smoke tokens. They are just negative points and they gum up your bag. And also in round 10 in these really uh, in these red highlighted rounds, your beans roast double. So um, instead of going from zero to one, all my beans would go zero to two. So you have to be careful. You have to keep in mind uh, during this round that your beans will, will roast more than they normally do. Temperatures are getting hot. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to draw 10 chips from my bag. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I've drawn not amazing things, but I could do some stuff here. Okay, so I've drawn some level zeros that will turn into... Uh, level twos, which is actually pretty good. And then I've drawn some chips that I could use. So these are nothing. These are dead weight. I don't really want to do anything with them yet. I'm going to try and get rid of them later in the game, and I'll show you how I can do that. Um, the other thing is that I have drawn a some red tokens that I could use to unlock my in-game ability, which I think I'll probably do. So what I'm going to do 
um, is I am going to put this chip down. Before I do, I want to make sure that I don't need to un don't want to unlock any of my immediate abilities, which I don't think I do. But the way the the way the abilities go in this game, the way they resolve is you have to do immediate abilities first and then you do the flavor effect, cup effect abilities right here. So if I put something right here, I've locked myself out of doing any more immediate abilities this round. So I wanna make sure I'm sure, which I, I think I'm sure. But um, I'll go ahead and do this. So I will place this right here. And the red token, whenever you place it down, you take two beans and combine them into one before roasting. So basically what I'm gonna do is it's gonna make your bean, your bag more efficient. So you have to have at least a level one roast to do that, So or two level one beans. So I'm gonna turn these two level one beans into a level two bean, which meets the requirement for playing that token. And now, since I've played both of the required tokens for this little cup ability, I now have that ability, which is amazing, because that will help me at the end of the game. I think I'm also gonna try and get this ability before everything's said and done because um, this one allows you to have more flexibility when you're placing the tokens at the end of the game. But for now, I think that's good. And then I don't really want to use any of these other abilities on these things right here. Um, I could technically use a green if I wanted to, I guess, but I don't think I do because I want to let these beans roast because they're going to double roast. They're going to get to level two, which will be really nice. So I think I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and let these double roast because it's a red round. So these will all turn into two which has increased my roast value by six, which means my bag is getting better. So I'm now up to 11. And then all of these will go back into my bag and we'll move on to the next round because I don't want to stop just yet. I don't think I have what I need to get to 14 and I don't have the tools I need to effectively manage my bag, I don't think. So now I'm at this next round where I will be drawing 11 chips from the bag. So I'm gonna mix these up really well. All right and place these out. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I draw, I drew a, a bad bean here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, cool. All right, so I've got some stuff to do. I've got some level two beans that will turn into level three beans if I wanna do that. And then I've also got some abilities that I could activate if I wanted to. So let's see here. I like the idea of having lots of twos because that might get me to four. Well, actually, I probably want to let those turn into threes. Uh, and I want to see if I can get this ability unlocked before the end of the game. So what I'll do, I'm gonna let this turn into a level zero. So I'm gonna let this bean roast. Um, yeah, this is a tough call because I don't really need red tokens at the end of the game because that's not the flavor that my cup is looking for. Um, so I want to try and hold on to blues for sure if I can. And I do have a wild token at the end of the game, which we'll go over scoring and you'll see kind of how that works. But I kind of want to let these tokens all turn into something good. But I don't really want to use my green. Well, okay. I could do this. I could turn my, I could turn my two. Yeah, why don't I do that? Okay, so I'm going to do this. I am going to use this red token for its ability. Turning these, these two uh, tokens into a level three, which will be good. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the back in the containers and make this a three. So I've used this ability, and then I think I am going to use this green token as well to make sure that I have kind of what I need. So I have now unlocked this ability, but, but to do this, I have to do this greens ability. So which two do I wanna save and not let roast? I wanna let these two roast because they can get me a better value. So I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put these back in the bag, even though I kind of want them to become level ones. And I'm going to let all of these beans roast. So this one will become a three. This one will become a two. Uh, this one will become a one. And this one will just become a zero. Okay, so total, I've increased my value by one, two, three, so I'm right at 14. So I probably need to go one more round to get enough bean value in my bag to even really 
have much of a chance. Um, so, but it's going to be risky because I'm going to double roast this round and then I'm going to have some smoke come into my bag. So we'll see what happens. But these have all been roasted. They go back into my bag. And then now I'm going to go one more round at least, maybe more. So now I get three of these in here. And um, I am going to put that smoke into my bag and then I'm going to draw 12 out. And I have to be careful this round because I'm going to double... I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and increase my value by two on each of these. Okay, so, all right, I think this might actually be good. So what I'm gonna do, let's see, I've got six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I drew some pretty bad stuff, which might seem like it's bad, but there's an immediate ability that's really good that I think I can use here and it'll actually help me out. So I'm gonna have to use a blue token, which is not good, but I have a wild token, so I may, I may, be, I may be okay. So basically what I'm gonna do is I have an immediate ability and you have to use immediate abilities first. I have an immediate ability down, uh, down here that says I can put any color flavor token here to discard any number of smoke tokens or defective bean tokens, stuff like that, or burned beans, stuff like that. So basically, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, which will clear out all of these from my bag. These are both gonna turn into level four. I'm gonna get quite a bit of value. These uh, uncooked, these like, below level zero beans don't turn in don't raise two levels they just go to a level zero but all of these will increase in value by two so i think i'm really set up to go ahead and score my cup and we'll see how that looks so i did my immediate ability i'm getting rid of all of these actually i'm about to put them in my bag i get rid of all of those which means i almost have no smoke left in my bag and then all of these uh turn into increase in value by two which means I'm going to get 10 more value in my bag. So I'm all the way up to 24. So I think I'm good to go now. So these will turn into fours. This will turn into a three. These will both turn into twos. This will turn into a zero, which is good because if these get put into the cup at the end of the game, that is negative points. So that avoids me getting some negative points. And then I get to keep my wild token. So I think my bag is set up pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and move on to my cup phase. So basically the way this works is you keep on taking rounds, uh, roasting rounds until you wanna basically stop and score your cup. And so that's going to happen now. And the way that you do that is you will draw out tokens from your bag and place them one at a time uh, in your cup until it's full. And then you have to score your cup based on the, the coffee that's in there, based on any kind of flavor tokens that are in there because any type of bean that's in your bag can go into your cup. Flavor tokens can be good. Bean value can be good, obviously, because we want to get anywhere between 11 to 18 value of beans in our cup. And then um, you can also score points by having the same numbers in your cup. So like if you have a bunch of threes or a bunch of twos, you can get bonuses for that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and place, uh, start placing these, these tokens one at a time. Now, the cool thing is there is this little tray where you can place uh, chips that you don't want to put in your cup. Um, you start off being able to only put in three, and then you can expand it a little bit if you do this little, if you have this special ability that you've unlocked during the game where you can discard up to five chips where they don't have to go into your bag. And then this special chip that I unlocked as well lets me draw out two chips and decide which one I want to put for both of these. So I have some flexibility with how I'm going to be putting stuff into my bag, but basically you have to draw out one at a time and decide if you want to resolve or not. Okay, so I drew out a four. This is pretty good. <laughs> That's a pretty good start. I'm okay with that. So that means that I have four value in my cup. I drew a level zero, which is okay. So this doesn't score me negative points if I put it in my cup, but I don't necessarily know if this is ideal. Um, if I put a lot of beans in my cup that are like high value, I think I'm gonna leave it in my cup. That's a tough call. Um, because if you if you if you don't put enough value in your in your cup, you don't score. So like I want to get to 14 ideally to get 10 points. That's the most points I could get in this scenario from the value of beans in my cup. Um, this is awesome. So I drew out a wild uh, flavor token, which is also going to go towards meeting the requirements for the ideal flavor of my cup. So I want to get two blue and one green if possible, and this could be blue or green. So that's great. And now I'm on my second row. And the second row, since I have this special ability, 
I can draw out two beans or two chips and decide which one I want to put down. So I think I want to put down my, my two. That gives me six value in my cup. I put the other one back in my bag. And then I get to do that one more time since I have that special ability on that row. So now I drew out these two. I think I want to do that again. So I'm at eight. So I haven't really drawn out anything bad just yet, which is awesome. This is going well. Let's see here. Oh, uh, okay, so I drew out a level zero. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my tray here. I don't, I'm at eight, I wanna get to 14, so I need some more value in my, in my cup. I also drew out this accidentally. Um, I do not want this in my cup because this is one negative point. So I'm also gonna discard this. So I'm getting close to not being able to do that anymore, which stinks because if I can't put things over here in this tray, I have to put them in my cup. All right, so I have drawn a two, that's fantastic. So we are at 10. Oh man, I probably should have put those zeros in my cup. Let's see here what I get. Ooh, okay. <laughs> We're at 13, or do I wanna do that? Okay, we're at 13. We still have a decent amount of zeros in our cup and we have to put down three more chips. So we have some flexibility here. This is really bad. We don't wanna put that, that is two negative points if we put that in our cup, so that's bad news. Do not want that in there. Oh, this is great. Okay, so this adds no value, so I am still at 13, and this goes towards getting the ideal flavor for my my coffee, which we want. So I'm hoping, actually, I'm hoping for ones or zeros at this point. This is a four. I do not want that. That is going to make my coffee way too strong. So <laughs> let's hope for good draws from this point out. Uh, okay, so this would put me at 16, which would get me six points, which is not bad. I, oh, it feels so bad putting a three in my, oh man. Okay, what did I draw this time? Ah, I ended up drawing one anyway. Okay, so this next chip, we're really hoping for a zero. <laughs> really hoping for a zero. And we actually drew even better than a zero. Okay, so we are done drawing our, our uh, chips now. So now we have to score our pot. So the way this works, we've got our little, uh, let's see here. We've got our little helpful reminder. Sorry, I'm gonna have to get a pen. I thought I had a pen and I don't have one here. Okay. So we have to score our, uh, our cup now based on kind of three different, three different categories. So we have to score uh, the value of all the beans in our cup. So we have 16 beans. Let me double check that, 10, yeah, 16. Which puts us with this scenario at six points for that, which is not, which is not terrible. We could have gotten better, but I'll take six. Okay, so we scored six for our beans here. Now we see if we uh, matched all of the flavors that we needed to match in our cup, which we did, which is awesome, because we have a wild flavor, which we can use as green, and then we also wanted to get two blue, which we have. So if you get one flavor, you get one point. If you match two flavors, you get three points. If you match three, you get six points. So we actually got six points for that, which is fantastic. And then now we will get a bonus if we have multiples of the same value of bean in our cup, which we, we do trigger one point for having uh, three, we do trigger, uh, get one point for having three of the same value for these two right here. So now we would get one more point for that, which would get us a total of 13 points because we have no negative points. So you also get negative points if you have bad things in your cup. So like if we if we had to put this in here, this would have given us negative two points. Anything with an X on it, basically. If we had to put this completely unroasted bean in there, that would have been really bad and we would have gotten a negative point for that. But we didn't have any of those. So we ended up getting 13 points, which isn't bad. Um, they say, I think nine or less means you need to stay at the beginner level. So 13 points is not is not too terrible. Um, so there's a couple different ways you could play this game. You can play one-off scenarios like we just did. We're, we're done. We played a complete scenario. We've uh, built our bag and then scored our cup. And then there's also um, a mode where you can play three games in a row and see kind of what score you can get to. Um, we're not going to do that just because uh, we, we took a little bit of time to start explaining how the game works. So, But hopefully this was fun to watch. Um, I'm going to be doing these more often um, kind of solo playthroughs or things like this that can be that can be streamed uh, live on the channel so hopefully this was enjoyable um, if you guys like this stuff let me know and i will do more but thanks for watching so much until next time we'll see you at the table